Hi Virgo, I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. So I'm going to do your love reading for the rest of December, and I'll probably see you in the new year, yeah? So Spirit, I welcome you into this reading for Virgo. Love reading 2018 December. Come smoke with me as I pull the cards. Okay, so where goes my loves? Let's see what the love has in store for you. Just seen the magician. Come manifesting. Could be manifesting some things. Oh, okay, okay. So Virgo. What the high priest is here is definitely telling me you could be dealing with a tarot reader or it could be someone that um you go inside and you try to get the truth about a situation with the high priestess. She's definitely going to reveal some things that you didn't know about, Virgo. Also, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or there are some things that could be keeping you up at nighttime. Um, there's definitely some mental... Uh, you know issues here but there will be some changes that will be moving fast with the chariot here could be dealing with the cancer as well that would be some really rapid changes coming your way Virgo so um, with the page of wands here is definitely telling me that you could be having a hard time receiving some passion or you could be really being pulled away from an old passion that no longer served you with someone could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries or it could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn but I also see that you're definitely diligently working on things that you've posted up and accomplished as well so to me it's saying that you will be gaining clarity and inspiration from the situation you will be um getting the truth about it especially with the high priestess here and the sun card it's saying that there will be clarity and inspiration and once the truth is revealed um and once the passion comes back to you things will be as you wanted them to be um you'll be feeling inspired to do new things as well Beautiful Virgo. Let's see what else. Could be dealing with someone who's into um, witchcraft or tarot or something like that, but it's definitely telling me that you're going inside to um, get the truth revealed about a situation. Um, let's see here. Yeah, with the star card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is definitely here. But it's saying that once you've... Let, let me clarify that because I feel like the sun card is like in some type of opposition to the star card in reverse. So let's see what that's about. Virgo. Could be dealing with the cancer here but there could be um some renewals that you'll need to go through first in order to or you could be feeling like things are spiraling out of control or there could be two different things that you're having to control in this situation you feel like it might be out of control or things are moving so fast that you feel like it's out of control so like i said could be dealing with cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra Aquarius here um, but you will be coming out of arguments. Um, but the Five of Swords in reverse here is telling me that 
you left a situation behind that no longer served you. You just, but you also had a hard time walking away from it. Interesting. You could be dealing with someone who has Aquarius in their chart as well, or Cancer in their chart. So then you kind of just like go in and, you know, take care of your home, you know, get your passion back, try to try to hold your own passion with your wand here. I definitely see that um, it could be that you might be dealing with a motherly figure as well, but just someone who is um, ready to get their passion back and ready to um, get some new things going for themselves. Um, you also could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries with the King of Wands here in reverse. It's also telling me that um, you guys have been kind of playing or dealing with someone who's playing character roles as well or someone who's, you know, interchangeable in their character, Virgo. So you kind of leave a situation behind and turn away from it. Especially dealing with this King of Wands here. You figure out something about a person who's really not shit. Could have Leo Sagittarius, Aries in their chart. Or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Virgo. Like someone who's really not shit with the King of Wands in reverse here. And so with the Herald font, you kind of like wanted to make a judgment call or wanted to be called in front of someone so that way you could um you know have your beliefs in check but there's some rockiness in your beliefs or there's some rockiness in this foundation of how things were very go interesting could be having issues with um you know other people and their religious factors as well especially with the high priestess here and the hierophant could be dealing with home too virgo uh people within the home that have different views than you do um, especially with the four of wands here, it could be, you know, always a vice versa situation. Like one minute they like you, one minute they don't like what you're doing, that type of thing. So you definitely might want to be mindful of that, especially in love. Um, let's see here. Could be that you're going to have a good, nice home situation, but something is holding you back from this. Something is keeping you bonded to a situation mentally that's making you reflect and it's giving you a pessimistic type of vibe. Um, let's see. Let's clarify that, Virgo. Could have been an old situation. Could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well that's, you know, kind of plaguing you to be feeling restricted in this situation. Also, uh, could be someone who's older or they made you feel like this is love surrounding you. Um, definitely dealing with um, something old or some memories or something like that or someone that makes you feel happy. There could be some communication with someone. Maybe an older uh, gentleman, older woman. There could be some type of communication between you two. Definitely some passion. There's definitely some uh, exchange of passion and energy and communication and flow in this situation, which is very interesting. It, come, it could come in very fast as well, Virgo. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, but you're still kind of like, man, I just want this shit to be over with, you know. Whatever is going on in my love life, I just want it to be over with. I'm kind of feeling lowest of the low right now. There was an old situation that I'm dealing with. There could be some communication from the past that you deal with as well. Definitely some Leo Sagittarius Aries with the Knight of Wands here. It's telling me that there could be someone who comes in pretty fast. with, um, But it's kind of burnt out though, you know. So... You no longer have to like tiptoe around the situation because you like let it burn out fast and the spark was kind of gone as well. Um, but it's also let you drop your guard down from a past situation that was plaguing you. Um, even though you had free flow of communication with some people and things like that, it still kind of made you feel like you need to tiptoe around it and get it over with. 
Virgo, but you also could be dealing with, uh, there's definitely a lot of Leo Sagittarius Aries, a lot of fire energy here. Um, but there's, you know, the Knight of Wands, he comes in fast and then he, you know, he's out. So you kind of rest on the situation dealing with this person, this Leo Sagittarius Aries or Gemini Libra Aquarius, because you also left this Cancer Pisces Scorpio in the past and it kind of gives you like so many options to the point where you're kind of like, okay, what do I choose now? Which is a good thing, Virgo, because you do have options, but you need to hurry up and choose. There could be someone who has who's given you um truths to a situation um that you felt was hidden but you're gonna have to choose let me clarify as to why the moon card is here why is the moon card here why is the moon card here for virgo Yeah, okay, so there could be some hidden things that they have. Uh, someone could be um, married as well with the hair of font here, but it's also telling me that there's um, some restrictions that could be um, leading this situation to have secrecy around it. Or there could be a religious factor of some sort that's stopping this, that's making it secretive. Um which it goes into a point where you're no longer like really smelling the roses with this person as well uh also this came out again so it's letting me know that you're kind of like on the flip side with this person or whoever it is you're dealing with that comes in new you guys could have different belief factors or religious factors that differ from each other but there's definitely some secrecy surrounded by this situation as well that you don't know about that will come to light virgo um you're coming out of heartbreak as well so it could have been a secret that was uh you know revealed to you with the high priestess up here because your overall is saying that you know the, the truth will come out with the, with the high priestess here but there was some uh secrecy that was hidden behind the situation that you know you had to overlook and you had to overcome this situation but also with the strength card here is definitely saying that you will overcome could have been with a gemini libra aquarius but you're definitely getting your home life together we get this card pretty much every time virgo so it could be that you're dealing with someone who's older or you left someone out in the cold, Virgo, that's, you know, feeling kind of sick. There could be some type of sicknesses that are surrounded by you as well, Virgo. So definitely be on the lookout of that. But as far as love, someone could be definitely feeling like they, you have the strength to pull through a relationship without them and being your own situation without them. Um, but it's definitely telling me that they will be feeling like they are left in the dust, baby. Left out in the cold. So you kind of, you know, stop having um, communication with them as far as um, earthly things coming to see them, you know, messages coming, going and forth, things like that, Virgo. Or it could be that um, you made a judgment on it. You know, you've really like stopped communication with this person, stop the messages and all of that. Um, stop the traveling to see them and you made a major major judgment or you're going to make a judgment You're being called to make a judgment so that will cause you to have the ten of cups moment Virgo How beautiful So it could be that you know you're going within and definitely telling yourself that you are strong enough with the strength card here You could be dealing with the Leo as well But it's definitely telling me that you will be having to make a judgment call on someone that you love or someone that you're interested in because there was some secrecy hidden in this so i definitely see you all having happiness so with the ten of cups moment there could be some messages you know that come a flow there could be someone that comes in short and it ends pretty fast but other than that you know what you have going on you know that you're going to have to um use your mind your strongest mind for this where it goes so this is beautiful i mean you got the ten of cups you know that your family is going to be safe everything is going to be just fine virgo your family life is going to be happy and i love this so much so i'm going to just stop it there peace see you next year